In this tutorial, we'll check the interoperability and device tests for the carbon dioxide air quality sensors. Go to the device test repository. For this, from the left side menu, select the device test repository, where you've got the server simulations. You can find here all simulations by name, test type, or test configuration. You can also add the test manually or import this from the conf file. Add the test manually for every active device. Here, you can see how simple is adding the test manually. Now, I will show you the device tests. For this, go to the device center and click go to the previous version button. Now you can see more developer options. Here, we'll focus on integrating the Coyote platform with continuous integration, which involves developers committing code changes to a repository, where automated tests, including LWM2M protocol compliance checks, ensure adherence to standards. You can show a report about configured tests or execute tasks. Remember to click a run button before clicking a show a report. Right now, we have one test configured in the previous step, so in the server simulations. If you want to know more about available options in Device Center, go to the question mark, click Documentation and User. Here, choose the Device Management, Connecting Devices, Device Onboarding, and you will see the Device Center tab. Right now, I opened more tabs in Documentation, to show you that you can read about every available option in Coyote. The last one is verifying firmware updates when prototyping the device. For this, return to the new device center and go to the firmware updates tab, where we've got the list of firmware update steps. And that's all for the prototyping tools. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.